on welcome back to our channel go dynamic it i know many of you prefer microsoft office and looking for a solution to get microsoft office 2024 or office 365 for free there are countless video online about installing and activating office 365 or office 2024 but trust me those licenses are just a free trial license and won't work forever and if you are thinking about buying an office, you will have to pay a per user license fee to Microsoft. But don't worry, I got an exclusive, exclusive of free open source solution for you. You won't need to pay a single penny for an office suite. It's a most popular alternative to Microsoft Office 365. Yes, I'm talking about the LibreOffice. It has all the features that Microsoft Office offer and it's completely completely free. In this video, we will compare all the features of Microsoft Office 365 with LibreOffice and demonstrate how to make LibreOffice work like MS Office. So let's dive straight into the video. Okay, so what we will do is let, let me show you something here. In my this system, I have a Word and uh, Microsoft Office 365 installed on my this system. So let's go and download this LibreOffice and then we'll compare the feature. So that let's go to browser and type LibreOffice enter and you can see this is the first link open that link. So you can see this is this is by the document foundation and this is a free and open source software. Okay so let's go to this download section click here and you can see here there is two options to download this. The first one is download LibreOffice and the second one is business user if you are a business owner go with the business user because that provide you more robust and formulas and other stuff but for the regular user or day to day user you can go with the library office and this is app available for android and ios and this is available for the chrome books also okay for since we are using for the microsoft windows 11 let's go with the library office so office this is 20 this is the latest version which we are as of now is available is 24.2.4 and this is for you can see ideal for home user student and non-profit organization and where you have wherever you have a other office which has which is 7.6.7 .7. this is for the, your business purpose right you can say this business development and uh, if you're a business owner owner if you're tested and proven that this is good you can take the support there is they have a support also so you can take this support from from the library office they have a partner support partner so you can click here and you can go and take the support from them so okay so for us let's download this uh, office for a student and non-profit so click on the download here and this is going to download so if it, if it is not downloading you can see click here download your office and it is going to download here so this is just 348 mb this is the offline installer it's not going to download or install anything from the internet this is one time okay so download is completed let's go ahead and install it okay this is say the executable file okay go ahead and execute it you have all the permission to install it click on the next go with the typical installation and create a shortcut on desktop and it's going to install it validating the install it should be the quick one let's minimize this okay so you can see this installation is completed like click on the finish okay so we have a office you can see this is office uh, library office suite and now when it's open that this is the interface which you get so we can see the first one is your writer document this is your word document this is the calc a spreadsheet this is your excel and this is a impress presentation this is as his name says this is about your powerpoint this is your drawing a drawing is something like this is similar to your coral draw and all this is not exactly but similar to that and this is a math formula and this is your base database is your linear it's almost near to your access ms access okay so now let's open this uh, writer okay so now you can see this interface doesn't isn't it look like very similar to your office ms office right you can see you have a view then you have insert format style table form tools window and help so let's let's compare side by side so if we can add it here and open the word here i have word install on this system okay very sad you can see this says that there's one more day to go and after that it will block me to accessing this microsoft office 365 this is sad right that is what i'm i'm trying to bring this exclusive free office for you so that you will get benefited so let's close this one and open this document and now you can see that like this the top one which you see the one which you see this is um, the microsoft word and this is your LibreOffice. office what difference you see here on this one right so it's look very similar isn't it 
you can, if you want to insert you can insert the image chart right everything you can insert it if let's say go to insert and insert chart here <laughs> look very similar like right? this is your you can see this is your uh, office writer word and this is your microsoft come on what difference you see in the in the chart right and if you can save this one let's say this is my this is important document this is about the, i'm writing this into a libre office let's save it file and uh, save as and just save that this as a word office 35 and save into the document folder important save it right now let's go and compare the excel one let's close both things open this libre office again and this time we'll use this calc spreadsheet so now we have a spreadsheet here and let's go and open the excel from my computer so this is my microsoft excel open the blank document and uh, okay don't irritate me asking about the buying the license and all i know you're not providing me free of the cost okay so now you can see this is the one which you see on the top is the LibreOffice and the back end you can see this is a Microsoft Excel. So what difference you see here? Tell me. You get all menus and everything is, you can see the conditional formatting here. This is the conditional formatting and when you look into this one, you can see the condition. So I mean, that you need to find it out where is those menus and all, right? This is not a, a big rocket science that you cannot find it out. You can easily find this out into this uh, Excel sheet. And uh, let's close this one. Now it's time to open the different application. Let's open the LibreOffice and this uh, PPT, this PowerPoint. And you can see this is the PowerPoint and click on this. See, this is your Libre PowerPoint. And now let's just open this MS Office PowerPoint. So this is a PowerPoint, right? I just hate this irritating message, right? So click on this one. So what difference you can see? To the bottom one the, the bottom one which you see is the libre office powerpoint and the and this one which you see is this is the microsoft office powerpoint i don't see any difference uh, to be honest with you you have all these templates here you can go ahead and play around with that if you don't want to spend the money this is the best alternative i can suggest for you let's close this uh, office libre office and uh, let's close this powerpoint also now it's time to open this uh, another tool here let's open the libre office this is about the drawing so in drawing you can see this is look like um, not a coral draw not exactly a coral draw but it's similar to that uh, similar to that so when you have this tool you can design anything right you can see you can here you can have this beautiful flower here and then you can put the color on it so you have an option you can select the colors and different things so there's a lot of things you can do here and customize you can build the logos drawing and all right which is which is which is not there in the microsoft to be honest with you this free tool is not provided by the Microsoft. But here in the LibreOffice, you have that. So this is having the upper hand into this one. So let's close this one. Now let's look into the next tool. And that's the maths formula. And I'm to be honest with you, I know the pain of the math teacher or the professor to set the questions in the, in the question paper, right? But here, when you look into this one, you have a formulas given here. Not a formula, but a free uh, options given here. You can this, this is the percentage symbol this is the multiplication symbol okay this is the dividation symbol this all are symbols are given this is very very helpful in the setting of the math question so math people can correlate this one so this is not about the symbol itself there are lots of um, other formulas also given here you can see right and let me show you the very interesting thing is yeah you can see sine theta and cos theta this all are all options are given here so you can keys easily you can quickly set up this math file formulas and everything here there is one more um, attributes not so on others you can see you have the symbols also and you have a, if you want to set up this math you can see how difficult it is if trust me when you go and set this in the microsoft office it's going to take some time lots of time here but here you can see this has already been set up you don't have to do anything on this one just based on that go ahead and edit it and this will be ready so math guys this is this is really really going to help for you and interesting part is this is not there in the microsoft of yes so isn't it a, a very useful thing for the teach like a teacher and professor well done uh, libre office let's close this one and let's open the other tool which we have is the base database this is this is uh, similar to your access so let's open this access this is the microsoft access when you open the blank data this is asking about that which data you want to add similar and then when you look into this one so this is by default it's supposed the hsqldb create and finish save it and now your new database is ready and you can go ahead and add the tables and all other stuff you can the database people can correlate i am not i'm not good in database and everything right you can create a forum and all
right so this is the beautiful tool i would say when you compare with the microsoft and this one so i would say um LibreOffice has the upper hand if you compare with the microsoft right and this is a free alternative this is the open source they're not going to ask you the money and if you want the support from uh if you want to support from anything you can go ahead and contact their support you have to i think you have to pay some amount and get the support as well right so you have to just pay for the support not for the product so one more thing which i would like to sh uh, to um, tell you here before we go off so when you have a microsoft LibreOffice, in your case uh, by default when you save the document this will save you as a odd format so when you click on this any any of this format any word excel or powerpoint and click on the save as by default it uh, it will save in the odf format i mean this is the LibreOffice format but what i did is i have, I have done some setup so that it will only save in the word i mean uh, microsoft word format so for what we have to do is you have to open this library office this is the default interface go to the tools select the options here inside the options you have to come down you can see the load and save just click on the uh, plus button and you have to go to general inside the general you first we have to save this always save as and select this office word 20 20 20 10 or 365 you have to go ahead and select this one to 2010-365 and this is support the DOCX format right this is our office 365 support this DOCX format right so let me show let me show it to you so um quickly open this uh, excel file and let's open the blank one file file and save as you can see this excel is and uh, live in log look into this doc when you look into the word document click on the file save as and you can see this the DOCX format so when you save any file over there you can open it I mean you you can open it, in, it, it into the so I've already saved the document right so um, let's open that into okay sorry I was showing something to you I just jump out so you have to select this office and tools options you have to go to load save load and save general and select this DOCX format and uh, this is for the text writer and just click on the apply and okay that's it so by default your all the format will be saved into a microsoft office format so now um as i said that we have same one document right so flowchart where is our flowchart i have saved in the, the document folder if i remember correctly where is that this is the text document imported document i think let's open this one let's open with the word and you can see this document i have created into LibreOffice, but i can easily open it in the microsoft office 365 and i can do the vice versa right isn't it easy and uh, beautiful feature i would suggest uh, not to go ahead and there if, if you want to pay for microsoft office go ahead and pay and buy the license but if you want to use the free and open source office software and save some money go ahead and use the library office right so that's it for today's video if you found this video helpful please subscribe for more videos like it feel free to share your thoughts or suggestion in the comment below and let me know what topics you would like to see in the future video Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.